That's all I gotta say about that motorcycle. Like this motorcycle, like guys, they are stretch. <laughs> Today, we got this bridge that's rocked off of the bay. I got two wheels as a feat in itself. And Ricky, you were here the first time that you brought bikes back east. And was there days that were harder than other days? 100%. And I think that is the tough thing about that. All right, we're here with Jim. Jim Gears from Trail Ready and Buck Stop Truckwear. And uh, we're at the Mint 400, right? Yes, we are. And uh, what are you doing here today? We are vendoring, showing off our new 2023 F450. We did our single wheel conversion on Mickey Thompson 40s to all the suspension, wheels. Tires, steps, bumpers, front and rear, uh, rigid lights, makes it a very capable vehicle off-road. And we well, do the same thing to our motorhomes. And what is the, this motor on the Accolade? Yep, it's an Integra Accolade, 29 foot, no slide, very capable off-road, very nimble to drive. It just drives like a big pickup. Um, on 41 inch military tires, 7,000 pounds a piece, same with the wheels. And you drove here from Oregon? I drove here from Oregon through ice, snow, unplowed roads, and it just mobbed down the road 65 miles an hour. Gotcha. Um, and you're running the, the Continentals, the 335 8020s, the MPTs. Correct. And on this guy, a little smaller. Yep, Mickey Thompson? 40 inch Mickey Thompson, and a 20 inch also. So, how did you drive both vehicles down here? Well, this one was in Salt Lake. It got drove by Dorian to Las Vegas, left there, and then me and Zoe drove down in the motorhome, dropped her off at the airport to pick it up, and we came to the show. Perfect. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the Accolade. Um, why don't you show, you know, start with your bumper on the front, and we'll go into your single wheel conversion from the dually, right? Yes, and we love doing single wheel conversions. It started 10, 12 years ago with over or, uh, wildfire trucks because they can get off road. We only do a three inch kit to get a 41 inch tire on it. Keeps nice and slow. A three inch lift. Yep. And uh, oh, not on this one though, or no? Yep. Yep. This where is where, lift. where is the actual lift plate then? No, it's a coil spring on this. Oh, one. you replaced the whole we thing. Replaced the coil. Yeah. Okay, so you just you resize it. You do that for all your kits. That springs yes, or sometimes it's. Spacer. And sometimes we do a spacer on the bottom as well, like in our level stage one kit yep. is a spring spacer. And um, back to the bumper, yes. what's this model bumper? This one is like the cow catcher, you can almost call this it, right? Is like, yeah, this is like our buck stop classic bumper. It's been around forever, super strong, holds up to a 16.5 winch. We have customers send us emails all the time about hitting some form of animals or obstacles on the road and come pretty much damage free out of the situation well you got it's got great coverage for sure and yeah. a couple little sidebars here for the light protection as yeah. well yeah. and um, you were saying this thing weighs in the 300 pounds range yes yeah like 280 ish I believe right how does there. it how does it attach on this 550 is there two mounting points to the frame yeah, or? so with our bumpers most of the bumpers have frame plates that go on and then the bumper goes onto the frame plate. So they're fairly easy to install, easy to come off. Yeah. And uh, you always have a plate and room on and all your bumpers for winches, yep. or I guess yep. all they're the ones that are. Reinforced. Winch goes down here. We don't have one in here yet. But it's a reinforced plate. Handles a 16.5, no problem at all. And uh, why don't we go on this side over here and get away from the noise of yeah. these uh, entertainers? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's give me the, how long have you been doing the dually conversion to super singles? It's been 10, 12 years. It's been a long time. We we're like the first in the business to do it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of new to it. Um, you guys started doing it like, I mean, you said fire trucks earlier. Yep. Uh, what are, what's another example besides any, you know, Overland government vehicles? vehicles, cab chassis, people buy cab chassis, bring them to us and do the conversion and then they'll take it to a box builder or get a flatbed or camper on uh, it. The Fuzos, the N, uh, MPRs and... Yes, all of it. The yeah. Zuzus, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. those are great uh, options as well. A lot of guys in Australia love using the MPRs and the yeah. Fuzos for their expedition right. style vehicles over cab. Um, and you know, start like you know, you've been in the business of making the super single conversion a while. What is the main components of a super single kit for uh, a Ford or a Ram or an Isuzu? You know, right. So our kits 
pretty much we package them to make it easy because we ship them to installers we ship them to fire truck builders overland truck builders we do installs ourselves so we package them in different stages and it's the bumper the flares wheels tires the whole suspension package you can do the steps we make the steps as well do you make one? I mean, there's the companies a lot of guys use that pop in and out for the right. Fords. And for we the, have that on our 450. It's an amp step. Yeah. We put the amp on our Ford. Where are amps out of? You just you're part, you work with that company and order the product. Right. In? Yeah. Right. But um, otherwise, you, when you have solid ones. A lot of these motorhomes, we do these because they're very rigid, strong, and it gives you a good platform to get up to the vehicle. Okay. And it's still above the, the low point of the frame and everything. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's very much needed in this application. This right. 550 is pretty high off the ground yes. i mean obviously you got it jacked up right now suspension's unloaded on the front right um and and you've got the wheels of course the buck stop wheels is this becoming like a new really popular thing for your you know what's your cash cow right now with buck stop i'm uh conversion kits the single wheel conversion kits we do that's your main uh, business now and bumpers and bumpers because it started out as a bumper company so from bumpers to super singles and now the wheels yep and how long have you been putting out a buck stop wheel, period? This buck stop wheel's been as long as we've done conversion kits because we built this wheel. It's a 20 by 11 USA forged wheel. Yeah. We built in Primeville, Oregon. In Oregon? Yeah. Primeville? Yeah. Okay. And how far is that from uh, from your Bend area that you guys are from? Uh, bend is about three, thir 30 miles. Okay, so miles just away. right in the same yeah, area. Same in all central Oregon. Gotcha. Yeah. And what do these wheels typically weigh on, like, for a 550 or a Ram option? A tire and wheel assembly is, like, 160, 180. With the Continental, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, so. And, uh, I mean, yeah, and they come with the, you, the people would buy the valves separately because I notice sometimes you have a valve facing one way and the other. And the reason yeah. they're flipped around is so you can rotate these wheels of course. and you can get air when it's on the back. Yeah, exactly, because right now we're using this one and yeah. then if it was rotated on, for on the back side, you, you need to access right. because the holes aren't quite big enough, right? Yep. Um, and you know what is like the main cost, or what do you like? What do you? What do people need to know about doing a conversion, and say a Ford F550? Um, on a 550 uh, motorhome chassis like this, our Stage Three kit, which comes with the Radflow remote reservoir shocks that were designed for us in that application, yeah, you're going to be in the twenty-eight thousand range for everything. So yeah, and and of course that includes you got to do fenders as well, fenders, yep. and all these applications. Um, do the Rams need fenders? Because yes. they're a little, they're not, they're yep. a little bigger though. They're a little bigger. They're a different fender, obviously, mm -hmm. but we still do the flares on the 5,500 Rams and 4,500 Rams. And uh, Liquid Spring, you've been working with them a little bit? We have been working with them quite a bit. We do quite a bit of Liquid Spring installs. Um, it will change a motorhome, how it dries. Unbelievable, for one. Even cab chassis, because if you're not loaded, you don't have the harsh ride. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And empty. Uh, <laughs> it empty is just. It's I drove miserable. my. <laughs> I drove uh, my friends just as 350 and yeah. unloaded. I'm, like, I'm always driving mine loaded, and then yeah. I drove his. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. And you know, people talk about the nightmare of a 550 just to get it to the shop before you guys working on it, right? Right. It just. It's rough, but liquid springs, it's an electronic controlled suspension. It's a 6% compressible liquid. Um, they remove all the factory suspension, the coil springs, leaf springs. The rear gets a four link with the pan hard bar, big struts on each side. Same with the front, the coil springs go away and you get new trailing arms and your uh, struts up front. Every strut has its own chamber. It's computer controlled from an ECU from Liquid Springs and the vehicles. And it's always adjusting the spring rate. It's just like the smart suspension and the side by sides from the yep. Polaris now to as well as the Can Am. Yep. 0 0.04 of a second, right? Process is so fast. Yeah. So by the time you hit something on the front, the rear is going to adjust for the same bump now. Yes, yeah, so or if you get wind, side winds, it will change the spring rate to kind of stiffen up the other side. Mm -hmm. And you're the your sales manager associate of like for you know North America. Yeah. Yeah. Sales manager. Cover 
have our TRB locks, go do the vendor shows with the buck stop vehicles. What's on your next list for? Uh, We're headed over to Panoma next weekend, Friday and Saturday. Uh, what event is that? It's an overland off-road expo at the fairgrounds in Panoma, and it's a pretty big show. For okay, here. yeah, it's for my sure. My first time going to that one. And will you be going to the overland expo as well when they do it in uh, in Oregon? Because it's Oregon. Close. Yeah, not yep. the one in your uh, Flagstaff. Flagstaff. Yeah. yeah, no, that Redmond shows right in our backyard. You get to see all our customers and our vendors. Yeah, I'm going to probably make that one as well. Yeah. The, it's hard to go to Flagstaff after I go back to Canada and come. Yeah. I don't want to go back to Arizona. Yeah. It's already is. Summertime's coming. And it's a big show and it's been growing every year too. It's fairly new into the overland. Sure. How many um, times, have, how many like customers have you installed the Liquid Spring so far? You know, because you're just kind of hanging around the shop in and out, and then you yeah. see them. You see them as you come in and out, right? Yeah, we've done a fair amount. We've done like a, a fair lot. amount is what 30, 50. Oh, I bet at least thirty for sure. Yeah, yeah. but it's just. I mean, and you. And but, they've done a bunch in Texas too, and I don't know what they've done in Texas. But when did you start offering Liquid Spring? When did it start hitting your dealers for like these types of five fifties? Uh, like, is it in the last started, two years, four yeah, years? Probably two years. Probably two years. Yeah. Well, something to Maybe consider. Because we have our 2024, which was like one of the first ones we did. And then in terms of working with the, uh, what is it called, Integra. Yeah. How did you hook up with Integra, working on this Accolade, and then the one before it was called? An Omni. An Omni, yeah. So we've hooked up with Beaver Coach Sales out of Bend, Oregon. And they stock these, they have them in stock, and we usually try to keep one in rotation for them. They're just a dealer, right? Yes, it's an RV dealer. And so they're able to do a, a partnership with you and lend you the vehicle, even just at the dealer level, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the Omni, Omni Integra, is that same, Omni is the same as the Integra? Like, Omni is different than this. Because there's a magnitude. Yes. Yeah, like in terms of the builder of this RV, because this is the Integra Accolade right. on your super single. Um, now you're getting more ground clearance and like a little more off-road ability. And the Omni is made by just a different Thor, coach company. Omni, Thor. Thor, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, just the dealer and the, the same dealer same worked dealer. with you on the Omni yeah. and then the guy sold it and then you yeah. sold, they sold it. We sold it at King of Hammers. After you guys, after you were doing your show, yeah. essentially promoting both of you. Right, Yeah. right. Yeah, and Great so this one, I mean, this is a lot smaller than the Omni. It actually yes. doesn't have, it has much, I mean, the uh, departure angle is a lot better in this one. Right. You know, right. still not like good departure angle for, but with a liquid spring, I think you get a lot more departure angle because you just raise the ass and drop the front yes. on the way out of the hole, right? <laughs> uh, what would you think the departure is on this guy? Oh, man. You'd have to measure the degree of angle, right? Right. And right now the front is jacked up. Yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, like 15 degrees or something, right? You know, uh, we'd have to get a protractor out. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if I can see much on this. Uh, in the, in the, uh, it's just super hard in the room here. In terms of suspension. All right. Anything else uh, we need to mention about uh, the buck stop and the Accolade? You know, when you do these single wheel conversions from 19.5 tires and wheels, it seems like it improves the wide ride quality. You can get farther back off the road. Get away from the RV parks and people and kind of, kind of set your own destination. Yeah, you're not just like motorhome. I mean, they drag on the BLM land in Lake Havasu to try to come off the highway. There's that little egg, and then they're so afraid. I see them driving along the sidewalk forever before they can figure out where they can get on. Right. I mean, it's, you know, yeah. it gives you a lot of freedom. Yeah, and what's going to drag on this one if it did? What would be the first thing? Oh. Well, it's pretty much the back bumper, right? Yeah, you're probably going to be the hitch. If anything, all right, uh, well, the hitch is right at the bumper level, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. on the motorhomes, I always see them dragging their, their yeah. plastics around. Yeah. All right, and then um, why don't we go quick into the, the next guy here? Well, I'll try to face away from the music, uh, the, the guy chatting in the background, but um, you got your rear rear bumper for the 2023s, the newer boards. Yeah. Uh, brand new bumper this year for this truck, and same with the front bumper. These are all new styles for us. And it's for the 23 and newer Fords. Yeah, I do like this one. A nice little box style design, yeah, all we chopped got up. A step. We got the rigid lights in there. We got D ring hoops. Um, yeah, and then you can see the super single right here. Obviously, it's missing. And then you can see the giant brakes of the. Oh yeah. Of the, this is the 450, like you said. Yeah. Which means the 450 comes with the box already. Yeah. So you basically get your 
pick up. It was a dually as well, which we did our conversion. We did it with a white truck wheel though. Yeah. Because we didn't need the weight capacity on this truck. And they're adjustable. And okay, and so we're at the this bumper now. Right. Brand new this year as well, 23 and newer Fords. Um, this is a wide wing bumper because of our single wheel conversion, our wide flares. Gives us the ability to put three lights in it. And these are all rigid. Nice. And this is called our Boss LED, which we can put a 32-inch light bar in it, so we can light up the night, so to speak. Again, capable of a 16.5 winch. Oh, that's right, and just throw her in there. Yep, throw yep. her in there. And like, and you said, like you said, your sub company that you guys bought, Trail Ready. Trail Ready. Trail Ready. Do uh, beadlock wheels, simulated beadlock, smooth lip. Got lots of racers out here running them, UTV and trucks. Fenders on this one? Yeah, fenders. We did the paint match fenders on it, took it to our local body shop. Um, Brad Flow 3.0 shocks, adjustable. Right. We use Sumitomo Springs for our bump stops too to help with the ride and control. What do you mean? Which one's the, the Sumitomo? The one right down there. For us. We take the factory bump stop out for oh. the Sumitomo bump stop in. Okay. Which is a progressive bump stop. Gotcha. And then again, the buck stop wheels. Yes. We did that, we clear covered them to make them nice and shiny. Alright. Well, thanks a lot. You bet. For, uh, for showing, showing us around. Love it. <laughs> Anybody want to drive one? Come by, look. Come yeah. see us in any of the shows. That or down in Oregon. Down in Oregon. Take a tour of the facility. It's yeah. awesome. And of course, I'll add in now, guys, we can check out the interior here of the, the Accolade. Cheers. So this is the Accolade um, XT29, guys. No slides on the 550 chassis. And so this is like kind of the opposite of the Earth Roamer, but on super singles from Buckstop, there's super single conversions. We'll show you the outside, but look at the massive, you got a shower and the massive washroom. It's like a, this is like a residential kind of style RV. You got your cooktop, your microwave, and you know, lots of cupboards and storage, right? Um, pretty wide sink. And here's the pass through, of course, into the 550 uh, single cab. And uh, it's short of a queen bed. It's like, instead of being 60 by 80, it's like 55 across. And I think it's 80 all across. Let me measure. Holy crap, guys. The length is 87 between the plastic, 87. I mean, this is perfect for long people, especially for like one long person uh, who's like six and a half feet long. Um, and then width wise. And the Accolade is actually 54 to right here. And, um, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously they have a little ladder. There's a ladder that pulls out probably out of here maybe or somewhere. Um, but um, I'm wondering about jumping up in there. I'll have to give that a try. So yeah, that's a lot of room up here. Good view, good view. Probably you want to use a ladder most of the time, but um, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't want to fall off though, holy crap. Have you ever thought about if you were sleeping and you roll right off? <laughs> well, there is a net, we could put you in it. Oh, is that what that's for? Yeah. yeah. That's all I <laughs> so Wait, is, we can just strap you in. I was like, I'm sure there's a ladder somewhere around here. No, there is a ladder that comes down here, but this net, we can, we can just lock you in the cage. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, who's going to do that? Unless you're two people just barely fitting in there. Well, you so, said you need elbow room. Right yeah, because so, yeah, it's only 55. It's five inches shorter, but it's actually longer. So, like, tall people would be fantastic. <laughs> like, down on one side, and then that way we can still have, like, a little bit of a living room and a table on yeah. the other I can't believe the size of the washroom again. Like this thing is like a residential, like tiny home, right? The ladies do enjoy that. It's there. You could stand up and do your. You can change in there. Mm 
I like the hooks shower. too. You have to bend down in the shower. Yeah, and then this fridge looks pretty big actually. It opens from this side. Uh, down north. Yeah. Full size fridge and deep too. Uh, the fridge oh yeah, is very yeah, that's a very deep. Yeah, yeah, no limits, no issues with this for like, you don't need a second fridge like, like you would in a lot of the RVs. Yeah, and it's high up, easy to access. Of course, the weight's a little high, obviously a little more. Sometimes they lower their, and then here's the AC, dual ACs, that's right. Stick it up on the future. All right, and one, two, three, four, five, six steps, six steps.